What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. In the last episode, we went through the Moshet Manor. Moshet? Mosh, Moshet? I believe that's what it is. Moshet Manor here in the third area of the world that we are in. The Vale of Alphataria. We actually also went to Alphataria itself, which is that city to the north of the caravan. Ran around that, looked around some stuff and everything. But really the big thing was going to the... Moshep Manor and killing all of the Tonberry chefs and pissing off the, what are they, king and queen? Jack and Maggie Moshet? I don't know, Emperor Duke, whatever. What was it? Gigas and Weird Snake Lady. So, uh, yeah, we decided to kill all their Tonberries because we're jerks like that, and we pissed them off, and then we took their mur and went away, because that is what Crystal Caravanners do. We take what we want and leave destruction in our wake. So now, what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to actually finish up the second year. If you wanted to, and if you actually did things in a different order, there is a miasma stream over here to the left that is actually Earth Elemental. The place that we're going to go to today has the Earth Element in it, so I guess, technically speaking, instead of doing the manor first, you could have done that depressing village in the upper right corner, which we were going first and changed to Earth and then made your way through the Miasma Stream, but I decided to do the Mana first because Tonberries, and I love Tonberries. The only thing I love more than Tonberries are Cactuars. I can't wait to see them in this game because I know they're here. Um, so, this place up here is Tita. I'm going to say that's Tita. I'm going to say that's almost sure how that's pronounced. I have yet to hear it in the game, but pretty sure that's what it is. And this will be our third drop of myrrh for the second year. Uh, there's stuff I want to talk about in terms of third year and things like that, but I think what we need to do is we need to listen to the very sad and depressing story about the fate of this village. Let's go. The sun once smiled on this village more than any other. But one day... Their crystal's blessing faded. The villagers eagerly awaited their caravan's return. But for them, the crystal would never shine again. It is said that not a single one of them tried to escape. All stood fast. Waiting for the caravan, hoping to the very end. After hearing that tale, I felt the weight of my burden like never before. So what we have here is a very grim reminder of what it is exactly we're trying to do. Or what we're trying not to happen. Welcome to Tita Village. The place that died out for the most part. The crystal couldn't protect the villagers from the miasma because something happened to the caravan and they never returned. So now everybody that lived here died. That is that is the most blunt and direct way I can put it. Everybody here died. I don't know if they got turned into monsters or anything along that ways, but we are going to be fighting a bunch of skeletons here and there, so I can only gather that they are the spirits of the people that used to live here. So, there's one of our first skeletons that we're fighting. It's a skeleton wizard, I think these things are called. I think we're going to have skeleton wizards and skeleton knights and all kinds of things along that ways. We also have a wind chalice point, and I'm actually going to go ahead change this. Hey, come on, get on there. Get on the hot spot. There you go. Change it to win. Uh, for no reason other than the fact that I can. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Grab clear, which is not going to be something I'm going to be uh, using at all. I did uh, stop over at the city in order to clear out a little bit of my inventory, so this way I can pick up more things, because there are a lot of stuff to pick up here, and a lot of enemies to deal with. Case in point, like so, we have ourselves a little caterpillar thing, and then we, I think we fought this uh, imp-like thing before, but be careful of those caterpillar guys, because of actually just what they did right there. They will, like, breathe in, and they will fire off a poison spell uh, in a huge area of effect, so just be very careful of that. 
Also, that little imp guy dropped a fire. I'm pretty sure he is supposed to always drop a fire because in this area, you'll actually be using fire a lot. That is gonna be your main element for this section. You'll be able to do a whole bunch of different things with it. And uh, I'll finally be able to uh, show it off. I, I've shown off uh, Blizzard a lot. Blizzard is like a main element that you'll use for a good portion in the beginning of the game. Whoa. And uh, I showed off Thunder a few times as well, but I never really showed off Fire or Fyra or anything like that. And I'm kind of hoping that the game drops me a worm antenna. That's interesting. Uh, the game drops me a... I know they're going to drop me another Fire at some point. Uh, yeah, I went down there. But I'm kind of hoping that they give me a third one. I only showed off one Aga spell, and that's only because Moogle for that one time decided that he was going to uh, assist me. Whoa! Whoa, get away! Shoot, shoot, this is the uh, Skeleton Knight right there. You can tell because he wants to hit me. And he's actually, he has the same stance as I do. So I think that's like a Clavit stance. Makes me believe even more that, you know, these are the spirits of the residents that you live in this town. And I'm pretty sure if I actually, shiny, I love it. Pretty sure if I actually watched one of the wizards, they would also have uh, various stances that we've seen before. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, it's all Clavit or maybe they have like, the uke stance or something like that. I don't know, but... Oh, God, here comes another one. Get away. You can stand right there. Good, stand right... Oh, no, he had a shield up. That's right. Very much like a clavit. He went into a defensive stance, so I wouldn't be able to do any damage to him, or at least very minimal. All right, so now you gave me a thunder. Nice, so we have one of each. Isn't that amazing? Now, I'm going to hold off on uh, putting on any of those spells for right now. Not until I get a little bit... Okay, so we have a bomb, and he's casting that. That over there, run away from that. He, he's casting Meteor. I had no idea that these guys could do that in this game until uh, running through this. Oh God. <laughs> so uh, you definitely don't want to be caught in the destructive path of that. Now these guys are able to explode and destroy you with a huge uh, area effect. And then when they're not dead, there's just one. Get it, get back here. Hey, I said no. Ow. Uh, did, ow. Oh, he's dead now. Run away. You two. Yeah, I think that's a piece of bronze. Oh, you died already. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And another crystal ball. I will tell you your fortune. You will die. Yeah. Dead. Good. Give me something nice. Uh, flower seed, whatever. All right, so now we have ourselves a key. There's a few areas here that you really don't need to explore, but if you want to... Ah, okay, no. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me just check down here really quickly. I want to say that there may be a chest in this area. Always look... Oh, no! Oh, no, I know what's down in this area. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, first, any enemies? Nope, there is a chest now. I'll take your gill. <laughs> you guys don't need it anymore because you're all kind of dead. But what I want to do is I want to come over here and you sense a presence within the house. Let's take a look! Hello, Mog House! Woo! Give me your stuff, please! Hello? Will you do a Moogle Stamp? Yes, please do. Thank you very much. Boom! Right up there. Getting ourselves uh, almost a full uh, run. And you know what I actually am going to do in this situation? I am going to uh, paint my Moogle Red. Painting the Moogle Red. We're painting the Moogle Red. Is that how that goes? No, that's kind of more like a uh, Wizard of Oz thing. Just trying to do the, uh, like the painting the roses red from Alice in Wonderland. Yes? No? Disney fans out there? I know I have some. So I'm going to just paint him, you know, all the way around with the red paint. And maybe, possibly, could be, he'll cast some fire spells. Because in this area, I could use him to do such things. So give me a moment, well, moment while I finish uh, blocking him in red. All right, that looks pretty good. He, he's very red <laughs> all the way around, matching your pom-pom. So now that he has, um, in theory, fire attribute to him, he'll be able to, uh, what is it, uh, cast fire spells for me and then and maybe be a little bit more useful. Hey, another chest. Sweet. What is this? Ooh, ooh, ooh item. Uh, iron armor. I'm pretty sure I'm already wearing that, so that's going to be quite useless. All right, moving back along. As I said before, there are a few gates and everything to this area that you can use the keys to uh, open up. But what you're gonna need to do for this particular one, is, as you can see, it's covered in like a vine-like substance. You need to burn it in order to get rid of it. That's kind of one of the things that they use fire for in this particular section. I feel like that this map is all like, hey, do you remember this fire spell? We gave it to you like in the beginning. Just 
just so you didn't forget about it, you can use it here, because you'll you'll actually like it, trust me. So, whoa, ow! Damn. Yeah, they hit you with their sword while you're trying to do your focus attack. They knock you out of uh, the attack. Oh, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded, and people are hurting me. Get, get, okay, good. Take the meat, take the gill. Come here, hey. Yeah, I'm actually going to eat the meat. I mean, well, you know what I mean. The, the, ah. Uh, mine out of gutter. Um, yes, I am going to do that. It's not going to heal me very much, but at least it'll start building up my liking for this particular, uh, yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah, don't heal me for one. Great. I'm gonna eat another fish. Because even though my strength doesn't go up, at least then it builds my favorites up for meat and fish. Oh, look at that. Meat actually jumped up. It's in the five range now. It was actually, uh, I believe it was six before. So now it's on the same level as a gourd potato or guard potato, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, so, and it looks like my striped apples and my rainbow grapes went down a little bit. So they look like they adjust here and there depending on uh, what you eat and what you enjoy. That's fine. This way. Come on, Moogle. I'd rather have uh, my extra strength anyway. This way. This. There we go. Kaiser Knuckle. That's definitely an attack uh, boost. Ugh. Awesome. Come on. Yeah. All right. So it only takes now one uh, focus attack and then a single hit in order to take down the Skeleton Knights. I'll take it. Sounds good to me. Now then. Um... As I said right before I came into this area, I did want to talk a little bit about Year 3. What I did uh, in between episodes, just out of curiosity's sake, because again, I don't remember much about this game at all. So it'd be nice if I play a little bit so I can get a little bit more familiar with uh, the way certain mechanics work and things along that ways. And I decided to give a try onto Year 3. And as I predicted a few episodes ago, Things do change in year three. Once uh, I'm able to re-enter the what was that the River Bell? Whoa, the way the very first dungeon we went into. Sweet, another fire. I'll take it. Nice. Uh, once I'm able to revisit the first dungeon we went into, there were new enemies there. Things were stronger, and I'm taking damage because oh yeah, let's, no, no, I already cleared out. Um, things were stronger, and I believe that I got more stuff. So. Once I finish year two, there will be a change to how things happen in year three. And where is my fire? I got another fire. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. How is it doing all the way up here? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Much better. I don't need this phoenix down, but I will replace it out with a cure. Very good. Nice. So that's pretty exciting. So now, um, as I go through uh, the levels again, I'll be able to uh, collect new stuff and see new things. So I think, oh no, this is where the game wanted me to go. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs> I take that back. So anyway, as I was saying, what I think I may want to do, and I'm still really debating on how I want to show off the other members of Jersey, because I'm sorry, my character is just pretty uh, powered up right now. But that's because I have been doing stuff like, you know, going back through dungeons multiple times. And I'm a good, like, 10, 12 hours into this game for just this character. So, it's like, do I really want to put all that extra time and everything into uh, all of the other guys? Do I want to do that? Part of me says yes, and a part of me is like, eh, just because it's a lot of work to be able to get all that done. Um, if I do want to do that, then at least it'll make things easier, because then they'll be able to get uh, better equipment faster, because you'll be able to access the you know, stats plus two, three, five, or whatever it is uh, from that point on. And then also, well, oh, a bottle of milk, yummy. And then also, um, if I get my Game Boy and my Game Boy Link cable, which I'm still really heavily considering getting, uh, I'll be able to just do the whole dropping of items and inventory stuff to give them better equipment before going off onto the world adventure. So these are just thoughts and ideas and things that I have in my mind about how I want this series to progress. Because from what I hear a lot, many people don't even realize that this game actually has a legit ending. I personally still don't believe it, but the more I'm playing this, the more I'm coming to realize, wow, there actually is like an overlying story to this. And you can, for the most part, beat the game of sorts, or at least beat the main story, um, between eight and nine years 
I believe it is. I will most likely be taking a little bit longer than that just because of the things that I would want to show off and everything like that. But, um, yeah, I had no idea there was actually a legit story to this. So that's going to be fun to go through. Now, again, what we're going to need fire for, as you can see, there are barriers up. These like little webbed barriers. You froze me. You jerk off. Okay, you're going to die now. So there are these little wet barriers that you need fire in order to break. And I'm going to do that because this guy's a jerk. Ah, die. Stupid skeleton thing. Is there something over here? This looks like like dead endish. Ah, nope. Okay. Oh, run right away. I want to go. Actually, no. Yeah, let's, let's continue going that way, shall we? So you need fire in order to break these uh, barriers down. Now, the other thing is, is that the barriers will respawn, so don't think that one fire is all you need in order to be able to, you know, permanently open up your way. And I am enjoying using Fyra. Fyra seems to be a lot of fun. Also, with fire, as I believe I mentioned before, fire as a spell will burn stuff, and then that will also cause them to have a lower defense. So that means I get to kill them faster, which is not a bad thing in any way here before. Aha! Yes, I knew there was a... Uh, chest up here. Well, no, I didn't. I was heavily guessing, but I'll take the 20 kill. Ah, whatever. Every little bit counts. Back this way, Mog. Come on. Are you stuck? What the hell? Oh, God, he got stuck. Ugh. All right, let's use this time, because we're kind of safe back here, to see if Mog will actually cast a fire spell. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Come on. No, you casted thunder. You're supposed to cast fire because you're red. Those are things that I read online. You can't put it on the internet if it isn't true. Damn it. Pick up the chalice. Mog, pick up the chalice. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh my god, and then the barrier came back, and this is actually a dead end. I don't know why I bother. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Yeah. Are we going to try again? You know what? Let's, let's, let's try again. Shall we drop it? Drop it. Good boy. Let's give it one more shot, shall we? Come over here. Fine. Yes! Finally! You casted something useful! Holy crap! That was a huge fire spell, too. And of course, you're stuck behind the fire, the uh, silky barrier again. Come on. But at least you casted fire for me. And oh wow, everything over here is burnt up. Nice. Ha! Huh. So there was better uh, things to happen, and you tried to freeze me, but I was nowhere over there. Oh my god, run away! Yeah. Come on, Mog. Let's go. Don't want to be casting fire on this thing, because it's a bomb, and it's already fire. Did it die? Yes, it did. Good boy. Boom! God, grab it! Run away! Run away! Oh, there's the uh, thingy. Let's burn that. Run away again, because this guy keeps casting. That has, that's Meteor. That has to be Meteor. There's no other spell in this game that I can think of that being other than Meteor. I wish I can cast Meteor, but from what I'm reading, that is not one of my possible spells. This, and let's go into here. Is this another section, 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 or just an offshoot? Nope, it's an off area. Oh god, there's two of them. Okay, drop it. Cast with me. Cast with me. Nope, nope, you casted uh, Thunder. That was wonderful, thanks. Turn both of them, woo, before either of them were able to cast anything on me. Uh, pick it up, and this way to the chest, which contains, ooh, a Moogle Pocket. Okay, so now I have more command slots in order to work with. Look at how many command slots I've had. Holy crap. Kind of makes me wish that I had another fire spell in order to be able to make a fire raga, but I do not have such things. Actually, all I really can put there otherwise, do I have a clear? Okay, I switched things around a little bit. You probably see the little blinky dots on my uh, command bar to change space. Because I'd rather have fire closer to attack when I'm ready to uh, switch around my uh, abilities. Um, I hate forks in the road. I always feel like when something like this happens that I go one way and then I get so distracted by everything that I find that I forget about the other way. And then it's even worse if it's like, oh, that's the way you're supposed to go. And it's like, what do you mean that's the way I'm supposed to go? Maybe I want to see if I can find other items or other things. You know, the more stuff I'm carrying, the better. The more things I can sell, the better. And who the hell else is trying to hit me? Ow, oh, the, uh, the caterpillar guys. Yeah, that's big enough now. Ow! And I'm getting much better at swapping around my abilities. Like, uh, 
I'm getting faster at knowing where stuff is in my, uh, my command bar, and then being able to switch back and forth almost seamlessly. What is that? Oh, it's another QR. All right, well, that's not so bad then. I want another fire. I want someone to drop another fire, just so I have it, and then being able to uh, cast a Fyraga. Will somebody do that for me? Will you do it for me? You probably won't, but I'm going to try anyway. This is also a dead end here, but it does have a, uh, a chest on it, so I will grab that. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, you dropped the... Uh, a rainbow thingy. Nice rainbow grape. That mage master, sweet. So there goes my uh there that increases my magic more. Very good. And uh we'll go back this way. Very fun boss here too, by the way. Very, very interesting. Um different compared to some of the other bosses that uh you've seen in a Final Fantasy game. So it'll be it'll be fun to play through. Do something awesome! Okay, well now you're gonna tell me to hang in there again. How about casting fire? Ow, I'm frozen! Mob, cast fire! No, no, no. Man, a lot yeah. Okay, who this? <laughs> you pick that up, Mog. Oh my god, I'm also in a lot of pain. Uh, oh, that was clear. Alright, <laughs> whatever. I I did one of them. I wanted to do both anyway, so that works. Oi. Fire. And good. I also have to keep an eye on my stats because... I, I don't know if I ever really mentioned it, but whenever you eat food and you increase your stats, it's just a temporary thing. It doesn't last for the remainder of the dungeon. I think I said it did, but I was wrong. It does go back to normal. I don't know how long it takes for it to go back to normal, but eventually it does. So definitely keep an eye on that and feel free to eat as much food as you want throughout the course of your dungeon adventure. So you can keep certain stats higher than others, and these guys go down nice and quickly with my Fyra. I don't know what these things are either. I have no idea. I can't do anything with them. I can't hurt them. I can't attack them. They are creepy. They are weird. I don't want to know what type of bug emerges from that, or face hugger, or something like that. So we're just going to run away. Oh, there's another one. Hi, buddy. Spring water. Pointless. I mean, I may use it. That doesn't increase any stats at all, but it will give me one point of health back. So it's just an inventory item. Yeah, there we are. Oh, oh my god, I'm stuck. I am stuck. I am hurting. I am... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I cleared. Oh crap, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yes, I am. Crap. Because I am now stuck. Stupid thing. Huh. It caught me. I'm still stuck. Oh, Alright. You're gonna have to die somewhere in the neighborhood of now. There we are. All right, much better. Yeah, I got stuck right there. The stupid caterpillar was in my way. A fairy kid? What the hell is that? I definitely, uh... I don't, I don't know what that is, but I am very happy that I picked it up. Good thing that after this I am heading back to the village, because I can figure out, uh, what to do with it. Hmm. All right, where's the mage? Where's the mage that froze me? Here you go. Oh, my inventory's full? Crap. Uh, alright, item. What do I want to write? Uh, here it is, furry kit. A design for an accessory for Lilities. Damn it! Ah! Oh, it's an accessory, my first accessory of the game! And yet I can't do nothing with it! Damn! Do I want. I don't really want anything defensive. Let's, do, let's eat that. There we are. Let's eat that. And, um. I have anything else that I don't need? That's really quite pointless. And we have the spring water as well. There we are, wonderful. Did my magic go back down after drinking that? Or did something go back? I think... Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think something may have changed. I don't know, but... Let's pick up the Mithril Gloves. Another item that I can't use. But you know what? The uh, designs actually sell for a pretty good amount of gil. And I'd rather have that now. Yeah! Yeah, I'm coming down to the end. This is like the, the final area to uh, this section. Oh, uh, wait. Mithril uh, Gil. <laughs> Take the key, and actually, this is the boss area up here. But of course, there is more to this level, which is a little bit to the right. So why don't we go ahead and head over here? I... Right? Isn't there something? Can I walk across? I thought there was something else over here. Um, I could swear there was something else over here. Unless that happens later on, like when I come back. Like I said, things change during year three. Or as of year three or something like that. I think it has to do with the mer tree coming back. And that's what causes certain areas to level up, I guess you can say. 
But anyway, here we are. Boss time! What we have here is a pretty unassuming house. Oh no! Oh, it's a cannon! Oh, holy crap, check it out! It's a transformer! This is Armstrong! Yes, I actually know who this boss is before I'm going to fight him. Isn't that amazing? That's called research, my friend. So Armstrong himself is really not that bad of a boss. He's probably one of the weaker bosses in the game. He does have a few status elements you have to worry about, but he is also one of the fastest. So just be very careful running around uh, trying to avoid his attacks. Most of his attacks are close range ones. So if you're like right up next to him, he'll be able to hit you with his feet away from me. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's just chasing me. Wow, I have nuts. Um, ow. <laughs> Not too many long range, but at least uh, they're easy enough to avoid if you uh, stay either far enough away from him or away from the front of him. That weird claw thing of his... Damn it, I was too close. That weird uh, claw thing of his is probably his most devastating attack, especially if you're like nice and close. He does have that move, which I don't know what that is. To me, it looks like Thousand Needle is coming out of that line of his. So, as long as you're not directly in front of him, he won't be able to hurt you. And then he directs the cannon wherever he wants to direct it. My suggestion, pelt him with a bunch of fires to cause him to go on fire. And then physically attack him because as long as he's on fire, his defense does go down a little bit. I am poisoned, which sucks. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And then just do your best to avoid the skeleton wizards that he summons as his minion. So, okay. Drop the Chalice Mog, because you said that you want to uh, cast a spell. Crap, come on. Come on, something good? Something good? No, nothing good. Thanks, Thanks Mog. You actually did not help me at all. As usual. Ow! Hey! Burning down the house. Yeah, burning down the house. Is that how that song goes? I don't know. I, I don't know. I assume that there may be a few more uh, house puns going on here, but we'll figure out how to get along. Ah! Come here! Come back here! Oh, run, 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 run! This way! Do something awesome! I don't think we did anything awesome, actually. I think you did not even know what you cast it. Ah. Ow! Pick up the child's please. Thank you! Here! He's so close to going down, I may even just completely ignore... Uh... I was just I was gonna ignore the guy's, uh attacking me, but my health was going down. I just don't want to ignore that. I don't really want to use the burning down the house pun again, but it seems appropriate. Ah! Awesome! What you gonna do, buddy? Oh, you explode! Power Ranger-esque style. Nice! Kind of feel like that a little bit. Like, you walk up to the house and it's like, Make my monster grow! And it did. But, there we go. Armstrong was protecting the mer tree that apparently grew inside of Tipa Village. Tipa. Tipa Village? Tipa? Whatever this is. Um, the whole town died, but the mer tree survived at some point. Which I don't really know how far they needed to go then, because if you only need three drops of mer to fill your chalice, you get one at least once every third year right here, so... I don't know. You want to have a better choice of who you had in your kitchen power van at that point. That's okay. No drop, go to waste. Let us take it. In the name of Jersey. Ah, always so pretty. And that's it. That fills our chalice for year three, right to the top. And you know what that means. It's party time! But beforehand, we of course have got to get our letter from the Moogle Mail. Which is really weird considering we're going right back to our ho hometown anyway, so whatever this is, I, I could have just easily have told whoever sent it to me once uh, you know, we got back. Who is this one from anyway? Another one from my mother. Like, really? My mom is the only one that sends me mail. Like, I need my dad to send me more mail so this way he can be happier with me and do better stuff. 
I hear that striped apples from the farm are much better than the ones on the market. If I recall correctly, star carrots and gourd potatoes were their specialties. Well, that's nice. I will give them a try. And I will send you... I will send you an item. I will send you... I don't need... Uh, I don't really want to do that. Um, you're, you don't have any type of accessory for you. Nah, uh, they won't like the seed. The seed is pointless. You know what? Take the iron. Take the iron. Anytime you send the materials, it's always for the best. Just go right ahead and do that. If I had, like, a farmer, I would send him the seed, or if I had the fisherman, I'd send him the fish or whatever, because there's certain things that the family likes more than others. I don't remember what the blacksmith is, but I'm pretty sure it's these materials, so they can make more stuff, so... Run, little Koopa guy! Koopa guy? Open treasure chest? Yes! I am good at that! I am a master open treasure chest er or whatever. Damn! Holy crap! 210 points?! Holy jeez, I had to have gotten something great then. What is it? Um, strength two, defense one, strength one, that's it? That's all I got? Oh man, because sometimes if you get like really good point values, they give you like amazing items or like uh, different accessories or something like that. Man, well, <laughs> we're definitely going with the, the twist. Is this a twisted headband? Is that how you would read that? Because twist has the dot next to it, so there had to be more to that word. Whatever. Strength plus two, absolutely. All right, now we are back home for the lighting of the crystal ceremony. I wonder who's going to be on the lineup this time, because I've noticed that it's me, like my character, because that's what I'm playing as, and then I think it takes three random characters from my village. So, okay. Uh, two Lilithes and a Selkie. Selkie looks like Paul's character, Big Cat. Um, one of them, the stuff. Buckethead? Is that? I can't remember who's who in terms of the Lilities. Damn it. Uh, my Lilities are Sirius Squirrel, the Darklight Bros, and Abba. So, two of them are standing there in front of me. I forget who's who because I don't remember who's uh, who picked what version of which Lility. I want to say the Darklight Bros or the Buckethead, which is that one in the front right there. But And I'm pretty sure that one on the other side is, is uh, Squirrel or Sirius, whatever. So, there's that. Um... These two journal entries that you're seeing right here, I've determined are the important ones. The ones that actually mean something to the storyline, which is why they come before we light the crystal. So this way you can read them and you can get yourself a little bit up to date on like kind of what's going on around in the world. Besides you just needing to you know protect your village every year. So, and the, they mentioned the Black Knight as well, and they also talked about this compact crystal. Something that you can carry around with you and just a portable crystal at all times. I guess you wouldn't have to worry about the chalice, which would be amazing. Light up the sky, my friends. And we have done it again. Awesome. Yay! And then, of course, right after this, it goes into the celebration of the town. Joyous and amazing, and we all survive once again. And just like in year one, we have our band of merry instrument players and dancers and everything like that, and everyone's jumping around and doing the dances, and then you get to read the little journal entries that we have acquired throughout the course of the year. Uh, so I really need to show off this, because again, it's all just the same stuff over and over and over again. Where's my uke? Where the hell is Bombeer? Because I can see... There's uh, Darkstorm right there. There's more Lilities all over the place. Where's my Ukes? Where, where's where's King Bobby? King, King Bobby is, uh, we call him, or King Bombeer. I have no idea where the hell he is. Plus, they talk about Ukish ore right here in my journal, so it would only have been appropriate if my Uke was here. Oh, oh well, I guess they didn't make it to the party. That's a little upsetting. Anyway, we're done with this. I'm done uh, watching this. So ends the second year of my caravan. My asthma hindered my steps and monsters struck me from behind. Ugh. Still, I'll always look back fondly on the warm smiles that greeted me in villages I visited. And it was always a joy to meet other caravans on the long, lonely road. I hope I see them again next year. You'll, you'll see a bunch of them again, trust you me. There'll definitely be a bunch of them that you'll be running into from time to time. So, Jersey Caravan, year three. As you can see, the miasma streams have shifted once again. 
we will be able to move on to the next next area. But I'll worry about how I want to deal with that a little bit later. For right now, I'm going to go over to my pops. No, that's not my pops. That's uh, my mom's. It's my mom. Where's my dad? Where did he go? Hey! Hey, you owe me a yearly allowance, apparently. There you are. Yes, I'm back. I talked to you. He dropped. He gives me 559 gil, which is awesome. I'll take it. Um, also, I found out that at the beginning of year three, because I did take the time to talk to each one of the families with uh, their children of sorts, I think that may be the reason why certain things uh, upgraded. So now my store sells things like mithril, which is normally 5,000, but is now 4,500. Uh, and then, you know, a bunch of other uh, shards and things along that way. So, um, at least now I have more choices about what to buy. And then I'm guessing, like, my dad will probably be able to make better stuff and things along that way. And I wish that accessory was for somebody, but I don't think it is. Also, it's like, I need my dad to get better. My mom is super happy. My sister's pretty happy. But my other sister is like, man, my father's like, man. And I need my father to be happy so we can make better stuff. In any event, we are going to leave the town now because I need to save and before you leave town you always get hit with a, uh, a cutscene at the beginning of the new year. Let's go ahead and do that. This will be where the elders come in and talk to me about stuff. So happy to see you off as you begin your third year. Wasn't sure I'd live long enough. Last year I told you of the youth who ran off in hopes of purging my asthma from the world. He was a scholarly lad even from his childhood days. He always loved his research. He was especially uh, absorbed in the study of an element that ruled the other four, and that's something to think about. Perhaps he found clues as he passed through the miasma stream, for he claimed that this element had the key to saving the world. And then they pretty much just stopped the story right then and there. So, mental notes right there. Fifth the fifth element. One to rule all. Man. I gotta watch that movie again. Anywho. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427, in the next episode. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because more things have opened up to us. The Mertries have come back in old places and they have upgraded. But at the same time, it's the same place. And of course, we will be starting year three. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good one. And I'll catch you all later.